Hi, Joyce. Um, this is Anne. <laughs> and uh, thanks for entering CP Treasures and for um, and wanting wanting to hear my take. So um, yeah, we're gonna start with this one. This is a uh, summer succulents. Oh my gosh, summer succulents. I wonder what that means. That's about eating, isn't it? Um, it's an interesting piece, Joyce. You are you're always an original, and uh, yeah, I wonder what you were thinking. I wish I could get inside your head. The problems I have the problems I have with it is that it feels like it should be bright because it's um, this red, and then the green opposite colors, and then these these are bright. But then so much of it is quite dull, like dull, um, you know, gray, like they're gray. It's a, it's a gray, it's sort of a brown red. And then it's a very dark, um, gray, green, you know, marine green almost. And then the blues also are not bright. They're very gray. And then you've got the bubbles that are gray. And then and then this, I don't exactly know what that is, but it's also quite great. So the whole piece, even though it seems like it should be really bright with the subject matter and the title, is is not. And, and so I'm not, I guess I'm confused by it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm confused. Sometimes confusion is a good thing in art. Um, it's, you know, nicely comp composed and certainly nicely drawn. Um, yeah. I don't understand it though. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Oh, man, I wish I knew what was in your head. But the other piece, um, oh gosh, I can't get to it. The other piece is, oh gosh, oh, here we go. This piece is, oh man, this was so hard. It was, um, I really wanted this in CB Treasures. We were just having to be so brutal this year because there was so much exquisite work. Uh, but I love the brightness of this. I love the feel of this. I love the um, the um, style, actually. Like, it's it's quite flat, almost like primitive, you know? But, um, gosh, it works. It, that, I want to encourage you. This is on drafting film. Um, 36 by 28, massive piece, huge undertaking, although I know it goes a little faster on drafting film. Pomeriggio in Paradiso, um, I got a, my Italian accent might not be great, but it's a great title. Look at those clouds. I love the sky. I love the hills. I love this section here. Beautiful job with the wine glasses gorgeous color it's all it's very warm nice bright white highlights beautiful dark shadows nice wood like this um you know this board is beautifully done i tell you what there's two things that well three things that don't measure up to everything else in the piece the grapes somehow lack the vibrancy, the purity of color, you know, that these, these yellows do, that this purple does here, like this purple right here, this plum, Italian plum, um, has more vibrancy than it, actually any of the grapes. And this cup and the, these shadows here, and by the way, when we're speaking of the shadows, the highlights, how you this is just brilliant here. How you left a, a more orange, darker yellow around each of these highlights is brilliant. That really mm -hmm. reads as glowing, you know, light. But the grapes, they're just a little flat and um, not vivid. Like the colors are just not very saturated and bright. Like they're a little too gray, brown, you know. I wish you'd pick some brighter colors. I wish you would add some brighter colors. These leaves, by the way, are masterful. They're beautiful. But they also sort of miss, they're missing the warmth of everything else in the piece. And then um, 
So in other words, a little more yellow would be good, good there. Or if you're going to go blue, um, cool, then you could add some more blues to it. But they're, they're just a little flat. But drawing-wise, beautiful. Um, and then this, you know, I think what bothers me is that darn, um, you know, if you're going to stick it right there, right front and center, of course, it's about wine, then it needed to be turned so that the label was the same on both sides. And if you couldn't do that, then you needed to, um, well, you just needed to, you just, <laughs> you just, ha you cannot have this narrow blue right here. It just, you just keep, I, I look at the bottle and all I see is, well, it's, it's, you know, there's a little bit of blue showing on this side, but not on this side. And your head just doesn't like that and wants to, um, you know, try to fix that. And so you're distracted from enjoying the art. I would have just gotten rid of this blue right here. Just make the label be just a little bit further around the bottle, a little bit bigger label. And that actually would have really helped. And then, but then you needed, now where is the light coming from? Um, kind of feel like it's a little hard to tell, actually. I guess it's coming from this direction. So then this whole side of the bottle, including the label, should be darkened a little bit even though you have a primitive style with this you have added shadows so you want to carry that shadow all the way through i mean this is a 99 98 piece it's just absolutely fabulous um oh yeah and then this right here i don't like the that area right there it's just not reading very well i would have just continued on with that with the wall and just forget that there were flowers there um you know, and even now, since drafting film, you can erase. I, I, I might suggest that because it just kind of, my eye keeps kind of going there. is because it's a bunch of dots. And there's really nothing to see. It's like nothing that you want to bring anybody's attention to. I want to firmly, I want to sort of beg you to do more work on drafting film and do some landscapes. My goodness, Joyce, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And your warm tones, uh, very nice. All right, that's it. Thanks, Joyce. Bye.